This is a simple example of a conditional mean function that is not linear. In other words, if we were to assume that the true CMF is linear, we would be wrong. So we would say the linear CMF is misspecified in this case. So as in the example in the book, here the y variable is somebody's annual salary in thousands of dollars per year, and x is the number of siblings that person has. For simplicity, we're just assuming there's three possible values of x in the population, zero siblings, one sibling, or two siblings. Now recall that the conditional mean function for any particular point x takes the conditional mean of y given that value of x. For example, if we have m0, that is defined as the mean salary for the subpopulation of individuals who have zero siblings, or in other words, conditional on x equals zero. So we'll assume that uh, value is here, $60,000 per year. And then we can do the same thing for the other values of x. So m of 1 is the mean salary among individuals who have one sibling. And for this example, we're just assuming that's $40,000 per year. And similarly for M2 is the mean salary among individuals with two siblings. And we'll assume that that's also $40,000 per year. So we can see just by looking at it here that the there's no way we can draw a straight line through all three of these points. Right? If we try to draw a straight line through the first two, we'll miss the third point. If we try to draw a straight line through the second and third points, we'll miss the first point. It's just not possible, as we know from geometry. So, in other words, the true CMF is not a linear function.